Okay. Um, there's a fatal save error that causes some features of the game to completely break. We're compiling it now. Okay. So then, Yonoid will be delayed briefly. I hope this is worth it. And we're going to start with the Atari Jaguar. And trust me, you're going to want to see... You're going to want to see the Yonoid thing. It looks amazing. And for anyone who doesn't know what the fuck Anoid is, that somehow used to be Domino's, like, mascot. Well, I'll, let me just show the Noid to you for a second, you know, because when I see the Noid, I think pizza. Doesn't that just make you hungry? When I was a kid, I thought this was the ugliest fucking mascot I'd ever seen. Like, I was just, I, this made me not want Domino's. Nothing about this mascot appealed to me. Here, let me, let me give you one more. They did, like, claymation and stuff. This and the California Raisins did nothing for me growing up. This is a mascot. This is a cursed mascot. But there's a sequel to the Noid game. So expect that in a little while. Um, now. Now. <laughs> Why don't we get started? <sighs> the Atari Jaguar. All right. First of all, I'm going to be a robot for a second. So uh, I'm turning so I can split. Okay, hopefully I'm not a robot. Uh, VineBab is now enabled, in, by the way. On and make sure we have everything we need, and then I will begin. Oh yeah, we got some Jag. We got some Jag. All right, so let me explain what the Atari Jaguar is, because there's a lot of people here that probably have never seen a Jaguar or even heard of it. The Atari Jaguar looks like this. It came out in 1993 in America, North America. And it's an absolute shit show of a system. Now, this was given to me by uh, a patron. <laughs> this was given to me by a Vine Sauce viewer at um, Too Many Games. And I'm pretty sure I had the dude's name on the box, but now I don't see it anywhere. Um, hey, whoever gave me this Atari Jaguar, can you just, like, tweet me or send me an email so I can give you a shout-out? Because I've already forgotten, well, I mean, it's been a couple months, or a month, over a month. Alright, so, this is the Atari Jaguar. It looks like a toilet. I guess it kind of does. Um, it almost is a toilet. It came out in 1993, and the idea of this system was it's the first, the world's first 64-bit system. I've never played a Jaguar. I've never owned one. Um, I've never seen one in person, really, until this was just unceremoniously dumped upon my, my table at Too Many Games. Um, speaking of, there aren't too many games, <laughs> sorry for that, for the system, because it kind of fucking failed. Um, it was really difficult to develop for, and the controller, as you can see, is a monstrosity. There's a fucking number pad on the Jaguar. And it makes no sense. Uh, but yeah, they were touting themselves as the world's first 64-bit console. I mean, it, technically, I think they achieved that, but the games look like, like some real, like, hot anus. So why don't we find out what the Jaguar is all about? I have some good games for it, too. Okay, so here we go. Turn off, turn back on. The first game is Checkered Flag, which I think um, should give you a good idea of the graphics capabilities of the system. Give me a second, let me make sure I got audio. Okay. How about that audio? directly into your right ear hole.
I think I can fix this. Oh, now it's in your left. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Hmm. St hmm. There's a good... There's a good thing here I have that can fix this. So I'm prepared for just such a situation. I happen, I happen to have a splitter. And I'm gonna fix this for you right now. Ah! Whoa. That sounded pretty fucking terrible. I can fix this. Most plug and plays only have one signal for audio. Oh my god. Oh my god. Sorry about that. Christ on a fucking cross. Hang on. Hang on. Alright, so here's picture. Ninety five percent of streaming is troubleshooting. So I have a cable here because notoriously the uh, Jaguar is very difficult to stream. And actually, it's even difficult to just get on a TV. So I have a cable that was made by Grant, the same Grant that made the Game Boy Corruptor that we saw last week. And uh, it is... It works. Kind of. Hmm. Vinny tossed the Jaguar in the trash. Oh, why didn't I think of that? That's actually a really good idea. All right, kids, hold tight. We're going to get this thing to work. So I'm currently splitting the signal. Um, but clearly that's not working. So what I need to do is figure out, figure out how to get this thing and fucking God damn it. Why can't, why can't a stream of something involving a physical console actually go perfectly right out the gate? Let's try this. Well, now I just straight up have nothing. So there's just no signal. There we go. Okay. So let's see. Do I have Jag? Do I have Jag? There we go. I saw something for a second. Okay, now we have... Oh, okay. That's the intro. Wow, look at those graphics. Holy shit. All right, the graphics are back. Okay, now it's time to get this audio. Okay, so video is gone. Video's back. All right, so here's right ear. Left ear, fuck yeah. Troubleshooting complete. Crisis averted. Sunday stream saved. Or ruined. I'll let you be the judge. So this is what this system was capable of. These are 64-bit graphics in 1993. The system does not have any kind of a thumbstick or anything like that. So you're using a D-pad to manipulate your thing in, in 3D space. Look at those frame rates. Look at those non-textures. Fucking Star Fox looked better than this.
So again, this is Checkered Flag. Um... Wow. It's really tough to play. Let me press one of the other thousand buttons on this system. Oh, they change camera angles. Like, almost every button has some kind of camera angle uh, tied to it. So, from what I understand, yeah, it, it was capable of more, but it was really, really difficult to develop for, which is a death knell. And developers could not properly utilize this system because it was just fucking intensely complicated. And this was early 3D graphics. It didn't help that the console was not easy to make games for. Um, I believe this was the last Atari system before they disappeared for years, and now... Actually, it's kind of funny that I'm doing this because that they have announced a new system that'll be out, like, at some point in our lifetime, I'd imagine. But yeah, this is- this game is not fun. At no point can I react quickly enough to the turns, and then even- even if I could, my vehicle is so fucking, like, fast, I just immediately crash into a wall. I can't even finish one lap. Oh, I think I just did finish one lap, but I'm not enjoying it. I'll tell you that much. <laughs> yeah, the new Atari system we've talked about on stream a couple times. It is not a classic system specifically. It will have classic Atari games, but it will also be... According to Atari, it will have modern specs as well. So, I wish them luck. But... If you just look at what's happening on the screen right now, this is the last thing that Atari has given to the video game world. There's no shoulder buttons on this, by the way. So... You're effectively using a controller with a D-pad and three buttons. All of those numbers... are kind of pointless, because they're so fucking hard to press. Oh, I can't actually play this. They ran arcade stuff well into the 2000s. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. That makes sense. Um, let me show you the controller one more time. So, think about playing, say, Ocarina of Time with this controller, or Mario 64, or... Mario Kart. I'm about to get lapped. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. There's no reverse? Nope, no reverse button. All these buttons on this fucking controller, and there's no reverse. Five frames. A whole five frames a second. God, I love it. That is Checkered Flag. Okay, so Checkered Flag, we've discovered, is a game that should not be remembered. Um... Okay, Noid is ready to go, so after I'm done with Atari, we will do Noid. Let me just make sure the person who gave this system to me didn't actually um, email me. Let's see. Give me a second here. Uh, so far, no. So far, no, and that's a shame. I really wanted to thank that dude by name. If- if you gave me this system... Please... Send me an email or something. What do we want to do now? Oh my god, Zool 2. Alright, listen, I have a confession to make. I rented Zool 1 for the Super Nintendo more times than I'd like to admit. The Jaguar's legacy is to help dentists. Oh yeah, wasn't the Jaguar converted into dental equipment? I'm pretty sure that's a dirty cartridge. So yeah, it has cartridges. They're curved a little bit. Yep. 
Yeah, look it up. The molds for the Jaguar were used for dental equipment. Here's another fun story. I saw... <laughs> There's Zool. The second and last time we would see Zool. Oh! Oh, fart noises on the title screen! I hate it. It's, it's just wacky noises. Press fire to start game. I, okay, I'll just press buttons. <laughs> I'm gonna go for classic Zool. <laughs> it's almost wacky funsters. Like, that's how level- that's how- that's what level of wacky we're at. So yeah, Zool is a 2D platformer, really taking advantage of those 64 bits. Um... Again, this was a Super Nintendo game, originally. And, uh, it controlled like shit on the Super Nintendo as well. But this is another game... ...that controls like ass. Is that Scoot? Scoot found. Is that chick? Okay, that's chicken. Alright, so yeah, you're a little dude in, in like breakfast and... Like, I don't know, actually, what is the theme? I say breakfast because I see eggs, but... Like, I'm picking up snakes and ducks and, and, and meat. Also, can we... Take a moment to appreciate this music. I'm gonna put it a little bit louder. I want you to listen to the music. You need to listen to it. Oh. Wow. This is the future. We thought this was going to be the future of music. And it almost was. But Zool ruined it for everyone. Wait for it. Wait for it. It gets really good in a second. No, it's actually going all over the place. Music is not re Oh, it's not going back to where it was before. There was like a fart synth. There it is. Okay, so Zul can uh, cling to walls. Um, yeah, so the controls, you know how like Mario has a little bit of momentum? And you have to kind of... And Samus too? And Mega Man? Well, not really Mega Man, well... Mega Man is just good controls, period. But they're simple. Um, you know, with Mario, you have to, like, build up. Like, even Sonic, I don't really conti- I don't love Sonic's controls very much. Sometimes they're good, in the ones I've played, but they're just- it gets too fast, and you just crash into everything. But, in this game, you just start, and you immediately go full speed. Zool goes absolutely fucking mental. So, it's kind of hard to play. Um, first Zool was pretty much exactly this. Though I feel Zool was smaller in Zool 1. I feel like they made him bigger, and he's always in the very middle of the screen. Have you noticed? Actually, no, he's not in the middle of the screen. He's a little bit ahead of the middle of the screen. Oh, this is fucking wretched. Look at where the camera places Zool. Zool is like 60% to the right side of the screen. That's not good. You- you need to, like... <laughs> you need to give me more room to see things. Okay, Zool has a weird thing going on here. I think they were trying to get a little bit of the Sonic feel... ...in this. And I think Atari was desperate for a mascot that wasn't E.T. And they were like, yeah, put Zool 2, we'll give you some sick dosh to make Zool 2. ...an exclusive platformer for our system, so we can maybe establish Zool as a mascot. They saw rental sales for Zool were, like... ...extremely high. And then they got this instead. I 
At least the song has a couple good parts. Uh, I'm gonna try to complete one level. Note, note, I cannot complete one level. If you miss the jump, you gotta go all the way back. That's frustrating. Wow. Yeah, with games like this, no wonder the Atari Jaguar did not... ...did not go anywhere. Oh, and we're back here. This must have been real frustrating for kids. So yeah, I rented Zool, and it was one of those games that I thought I liked, and then I played it years later, and I realized I didn't like it. I was like, oh, I was too stupid to realize that this game sucked. I think what would have given it away, in my unformed, eggshell-like brain, or brain skull, you know, the skull that keeps the brain inside of it, it's the inner skull. I, th I should have thought to myself, well, you know, brain, I can't get past level three. And I've been, you know, playing this game for hours, and Mario Brothers I can beat, Mario World I can beat, you know, I'm, I'm able to beat Super Metroid. Can't get past level three in Zool. Hmm. That would have been, like, a good indication that something was fucked up with this game. Invincible ladybugs. Eggs. I'm just so confused. Everything's just a mishmash of shit. Not that Mario and Goombas are exactly the pinnacle of sense-making, but it's just so, like, it's bird- I think it's Birdland. Really, I think that's really what's going on here, it's just Birdland. It was Candyland in Zool 1, but now we're Birdland. Then there was actually Music Worlds, there was, like, records and stuff. What's going on here? Do I have to, like... Can I Sonic this? Also, let's- let's see what the, um, the number buttons do. Oh, whoops. Um... Turns out, the zero button restarts the console. That- that was a mistake. Alright. Fart noises in the beginning of the game were much more appropriate than I ever thought they would be. So far, we're two for two. It's not looking good for the Atari Jaguar. What's this one? Cybermorph. According to Wikipedia, Zool was intended as a rival to Sega's Sonic the Hedgehog. Oh. Okay, Cybermorph. Some nice farty synths again. Quality, um, quality midi midis for a 64-bit system. Eric Tweet? Tweety? Autobahn, Codex. Oh, this is someone's save file. Dave, did someone see Dave Love? Use the speed of the T Griffin to round up the supply pods laying abandoned in the valleys. Avoid kamikaze patrols, they ram when you when you get near them. Wow. Wow, the graphics. Oh my god. It's 1993. You're my age. You're- you're eight years old. You've been playing Star Fox. Okay. You've been playing Star Fox. 
And then you play the Atari Jaguar. And this is the level Where of graphics you that you get for $250. Did I just get insulted? Time to press number buttons again. Oh, look. One of the number buttons gave me uh, a targeting reticule. Reticule. And a bunch of camera angles. Great. Oof. Yeah, this game is rough. So, I'm gonna go where that arrow on the radar is pointing. Great. Great. Yep, gonna go through bridges. Good work. Who the fuck are you? I don't need some weird, creepy Cortana-like head. Telling me how much I where suck at their game. This is crusty. That's what this is. There are some video games that are just... Shut up. That are just instantly engaging. And fun. Right out the gate. This is not one of them. Um, obviously the closest comparison I could make is the original Star Fox. Which is immediately engaging. And actually controls better than this. And I would say... This has better frame rates and more polygons. But Star Fox, I would argue, is a smoother gameplay experience. Greetings, Turok. Where did you learn to fly? That's a really cool line you got there. Can you say that again? Where did you learn to fly? How many times do you uh, say that? Every time? Oh, that's not going to get old. No, that's not going to get old. It's not gonna get old. <laughs> I know. No, I was having fun. I was I was shooting um, pen caps. It was amazing. Grizz Madre. Capital with a K. That's how you make spacey things. For his mother. Good you luck. you emerge from an egg. An egg that was hatched in Zool Land. Zool Lander. Oh god. What have I done? Good fuck. Whoa, I actually shot something? Here we go. Now the frame rates are getting getting real low. Alright. Okay, it's fine. Gonna rescue some fucking medical supplies or something, right? Right? Good work. This fucking lady wants me to rescue medical supplies, I guess? Apologies for the, uh, random Bill Burr outburst. Well done. That was a double message. I interrupted. Oh, right. Look, I lost my target. There we go. See, now we're having a good time. A lot of the Jaguar just was presentation and commercials and... 64 bits. Remember, 1993. That's two years before the N64. That's, uh, sorry, three years before the N64. Two years before the PlayStation 1. PlayStation 1, PS1, had 32 bits. I've seen PS1 games that look worse than this, but I've also seen PS1 games that look way better than this. It's just about, you know, how the developer uses the, the, the hardware. I said this earlier, this system was apparently notoriously difficult to develop for, so whatever power it had was kind of undercut by how stupid 
by how stupid it was to develop for. So that isn't a good thing. Also, this gameplay... I... man. But I just want to hear... Yeah. Alright. That's Cybermorph. Three for three. Kasumi Ninja. <laughs> for the Atari Jaguar. Here we go. Never in my life did I think I'd be playing an Atari Jaguar. There's also a bootleg... Oh wait, no, this is a different thing. This is a plug and play. Never mind. Hang on. The reactions that the chat are making to Kasumi Ninja tells me that this is going to be an equally memorable experience, to say the bloody least. <sighs> On this here Atari Jaguar. What happened? Um, okay. Blood red screen. The Jaguar had a VR headset in development. I mean, they were just undercutting the competition by years. This and the previous game were played by AVGN. You know, I saw that episode. I don't fucking remember it. I gotta, I gotta watch it. After, after honestly, I'm probably gonna watch it after I'm done streaming tonight. Press fire to start. Okay, well, first of all, these characters look amazing. Reminds me a little bit of Big Trouble in Little China. Oh, 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 we've got blood. Blood and Rocky. Select your fighter. Ooh, that voice. <laughs> Wait, what? Oh no, oh, this looks like ass. Hibachi is the eldest twin of the Kiragakure family. Both brothers are extremely competitive. Here's another great frame rate game. I can feel the frame rates thrushing in my veins. Oh my god. Oh my god. Sensor. Sensor. Szechuan Sauce is the youngest twin. Of the Kira go Wow. Maybe they could have found a way to make this game not run like AIDS. I don't know. I don't, I don't even know what kind of game this is. Select my opponent. Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry, that is amazing. First of all, that underwear is so incredibly 90s, it hurts. Wow. So it's like a Thundercat. What do we got here? Ang- what? Angus! Angus McGregor? Oh my god, it's Conor McGregor if he was Scottish. He's a blacksmith of his village. Loch Katrine. Angus discovered at an early age that he loved to brawl. Stereotype. Pakawa. <laughs> Pakawa is the chief. <laughs> Sorry, of the Comanche fighting tribe. Tuwika Pak Pakawa is proud of the number of scalps he has collected. Oh, oh, he's a Native American and he has scalps. Oh, wow. That's, uh... That's original. Ganja. 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 Day, uh, by day, Ganja Urethra is an assistant DA. By night, she's a vigilante fighting in a different car! <laughs> oh my god, that was amazing. Chaggy. Chaggy. 
Nelson, five times world kickboxing champion, has never lost a professional bout. Oh my god, this this fucking game. I th well, who's this again? Alaric, king of the Goths, was once was one of the history's sorry, one of history's most feared and ferocious fighters. They just like like they took an intern. They took a guy delivering pizza, and they were like, "Hey, do you have five minutes to do some acting? We need we need to photograph you from the side." That beard, it just looks like a like an asshole. Not the character itself, like the mouth area on the beard. It looks like painted on. Are you kidding me? You're joking. You fuck what? No, no! He he fired that from under his kilt. So why do we have to go through like a 3D maze to do this? All oh, right, just to show off the power of the system. That's fucking insane. No, no, I need a moment. Ow! How do you- how did you think kids would like this? I'm gonna guess that's the Loch Ness Monster. Because, you know, Scotland. My character just turned into a fucking puddle. So... I don't know if I need to tell you this, but the controls are absolutely abysmal. It's a, a very terrible Mortal Kombat clone. Um... Oh, I wonder how, how hard they push this game. That's just a MIDI, isn't it? The bagpipes. Did my head come off? My character's head is missing. Two. One. <laughs> oh my god. Kasumi Ninja. Oh my god. Select your fighter. I like how you get one of two characters in the very beginning here. Senzo. Select your opponent. One of two characters. This is going to be amazing. Why does it say Jaguar? I know the name of the console. Nice Mortal Kombat. They're now, now the moves are just being ripped off of Mortal Kombat as well. What is she throwing? Oh, okay. Oh. I just figured it out. You gotta go for the Achilles heel. That's it. That's I like how uh, he and his brother are just garbage bag ninjas. In different colored garbage bags. Otherwise, they are indistinguishable from one another. This is not giving me a good opinion of the Jaguar. Also, look at those graphics in the back. Okay, it was It's supposed to be New York, isn't it? It's just so fucking ugly. This, this system has ugly graphics. Wh whatever it's using for graphics, it's ugly. The height of gameplay in the modern civilization. The modern civilization. Alright.
I guess this is- I can be this- I can be this character now? We- we have to see the Native American character, and we have to find out if he throws tomahawks. Like, what- how low? I'm wondering, will they- will they dig for this character? Round one. Well, it, there are teepees. We, we just found- we got teepees. And he is throwing, like, knives. And he <laughs> Oh my god! Round two. I'm trying to do combos. I don't know the combos. Doesn't matter. There's n mm. He's amazing. He's amazing. When he wins, is it, it sounds like a bunch of chickens. Cockling. Select your fighter. Senzo. Select your opponent. Oh man. Yeah, th this is this is shockingly bad. Who's this? Skeleton? Oh, I, I already fought that character, I guess. Jackie. 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 <laughs> <laughs> the great Jackie. Hold the button. Atari's fighting games have you hold the button, then inputting the commands. Really? Well, I'm- I'm- Wait, does Chaggy and my character have the same voice? Yep. It's just his is pitched up. He's like a chipmunked version of me. This is such a low-budget Mortal Kombat, it hurts. It hurts to play, it hurts to look at, it hurts to listen to. Jackie wins. <laughs> Round two. Come on, let me let me do one of my moves. I wanna do one of my specials! I should I, can I shoot fire from my dick? No? Can I throw tomahawks? No? God! Alright, well, I can win just by doing this. So, I'm gonna do this. There are three buttons on the controller, only two buttons do anything. And there's no block as far as I can tell. What a tremendous game that is. That's Kasumi Ninja. And that, I would argue, is one of the worst fighting games I've ever played. And I've played some fucked up fighting games. Okay, here is potentially a good game. This is Wolfenstein 3D. I, I hate to ruin the illusion that the Jaguar only had bad games. As bad as some of the worst plug and plagues I've played. But there's actually a couple decent ones. White men can't jump. Oh no. I have this? That was included in this collection. Yeah, this is on a real system. I have a real system actually set up right now. Okay. So, you'll see, they're taking advantage of the Jaguar techno- for that- that is an amazing- that's like worse than JPEG quality, holy shit. But yeah, they had to do a little extra 3D stuff. Open strafe, see fire, speed. 
that's fine. Oh no. Blazkowicz, you served the Allies well. You're a top operative. A one-man army. Infiltrating Nazi Germany will not be easy. Der Führer's SS fanatics are determined to rule the world. Your first task is shoot everything. Wait. Why did it just say Achtung? Oh, because they heard me shoot. Wow, I can go so fast. Holy shit, I can go fast. I thought the door said Aktung before. BJ fucking Bleiskowitz. I mean, it's it's Wolfenstein, all right. It, it's it's very fast. Um, and you know, strafing with a button is is always a little awkward, but otherwise, it's actually decent. It's a decent port of Wolfenstein. Kinda. I say kinda just because playing Wolfenstein with a controller is... is not preferable. Especially a controller without shoulder buttons. At least Medal of Honor on the PlayStation, you could strafe with the shoulder buttons. But, anyway. That's a loud octo- <laughs> so many octungs! Oh, whoops. What's with the stretch? I don't know, I don't think there's a way I can change that. Let's see what the other buttons do on the controller. Save game. Oh. There's a map. So you have auto save. well, you know, instant saves. I think I just hit reset by accident. I think, I no, I just turned... I just turned the music off. It, it, it hurts to look at a little bit though, I'm not gonna lie. I don't think that's the Jaguar's fault, but... It's so fast! I don't think I need to show you too much more, I mean, it's, it's kind of... Oh, it's kind of self-explanatory. It's just Wolfenstein. Um, maybe not the best version of it I've ever played, but... You know, I'll take it. If that's one of the only games available on the Jaguar that fucking works, then yeah, I'll, uh, I'll do it. Here's a game still in the box for some reason. Super Burnout. Okay, so you remember the Burnout series. This is super burnout, so it can only be better, because you know when you add a super to the beginning of a game, that immediately improves the quality of said game. Turns out super burnout is just a dude smoking fucking massive J's. Like dovetail joints. Virtual experience with an X. Okay, so now this game came out in 1995. This is when the PlayStation was released. <laughs> Best racers. Okay. How do, you, how do you play the game? Oh, I guess I just press C. Press B. So, press C sometimes, then press B other times. I could get used to it. It's- no, it's- it's gonna be fine. It's gonna be a good game. Oh no. It looks like vomit. Oh god, it's- it's- oh god, that hurts! My eyes are on fire! Oh no. 1995? On a 64-bit system. What? Well, it's a motorcycle racing game. Hey, it actually plays... 
a lot better than that first racing game I played. Like, I can actually play this. I'm nowhere near as fast as the other racers for some reason, but... Here's the trick. The trick is that you have less control over your bike than you think you do. You turn while the- when the level turns, you turn as well. All you have to do is kind of just lean into it a bit. So it's- it's- you're being tricked into thinking you're playing a good racing game. Best time. Three laps to go. Oh, dead. The sense of freedom in this game is magnificent. At least the graphics are better than Cybermorph. Yeah. No, it's it's um, a little bit better looking than some of the other games I've played today. It's it's still not good, and you got to lean into the turns like super early, but it's um it's okay. I remember thinking the Jaguar was this, like... It just sounded powerful. You know, the advertising and the name and... The way the system looked. I thought that the Jaguar was this... Intimidating, like... Adult system for adults. Now keep in mind, I was eight when this system came out, so I remember seeing it in magazines and on TV and stuff. And then the N64 came out. I didn't have a PlayStation until 97. But the N64 came out. And, you know, that seemed like the more family-friendly... ...good graphics system. It's a record. But yeah, the Jag... The Jaguar was slightly... That you sound enthusiastic. This Jaguar was very, ever so slightly intimidating. And now that I'm playing it... It's ever so greatly disappointing. Yeah, it just, it was too far ahead of its time. I mean, it just wanted to boast that it was the most powerful system on the market. And it came out, and, and this is, this is the type of shit you got. How many games came out for this system, I wonder? Like, I want to know the total number of video games released on the Jaguar. I, I'm gonna say less than a hundred. I'm gonna say less than 50. Let's see. Oh, that guitar. I feel it. The pain. There's a lot of unreleased games. It says here, 67 games. Okay, 67, I was wrong. Um, 67 games were released in the cartridge format, while 15 released, uh, were released in the CD format. There's a CD attachment, I forgot about that. There's a bunch of homebrew games for this as well. Um... Oh, this music. Like, I can see the 80s music video now. Like, the dude with the shoulder pads and the mullet, and like a strat in a silhouette, in a smoky, like, teal environment. And the shadows are very pronounced. Actually, I think I'm just thinking about David Gilmore. <laughs> Wait a minute, hang on a second. Uh, Gilmore music video with 80s... There was a dude he did a music video with it was, um... It's exactly what I was thinking. It doesn't matter, it doesn't matter. I'll show you another time, if anything. But yeah, yeah, there is, um... There's a couple, quite a few games. There's a Rayman game on the system. Pitfall, the Mayan Adventures, that was on the SNES. Okay. There is, whoa, voice, there is 
a really good game for the system. Some would say it's the best game available for the Jaguar. And I'm going to get to that in a little bit. Uh, before I do that, though... I'm going to show you every game I have for the system. And that includes two good games. Here's the first of the good games. All right, let's let's see. I've played Doom on so many different systems. I've played so many ports of Doom. The resolution is so awful. I mean, it's not worse than the Super Nintendo version. The Super Nintendo version of Doom is just like it's, it's like um putting 17 or more contacts in each of your eyes and then leaving them in there for years and then trying to drive a car. That's the Super Nintendo version of Doom. This is more like, I don't know, you poured milk onto your eyeballs and you let it get crusty. Controls are not very precise. But I wouldn't expect anything less from a game that doesn't have any kind of strafing mechanic. The buttons, the number buttons, just switch weapons. So if you've ever needed to switch weapons really, really fast, you can. So, uh, where's that music? Where's that awesome Doom music that's supposed to exist? <laughs> oh, okay. There's really no music on the Jaguar port of Doom. Oh, no. How dare you? How dare you release Doom without its music? Awful port. Oh no, this is- this is a fucking terrible port. Gotta play the PC OST and call it a day. I thought it was gonna be good. It's not good. Wait, which Doom is this from? This is from New Doom. Okay. They used literally everything the Jaguar had and couldn't fit the sound. <sighs> I'd be real disappointed if this was my first exposure to Doom. At least Doom 64... ...had, you know... There, there were things you could do in Doom 64. It was smooth. The resolution was better than this. Um, it didn't have the signature music, but it had, like, creepy ambience, at least. Um, let's see. So, yeah, Doom 64 was- was my first exposure to Doom. I'm- I'm glad that was my first exposure and not this, or the Super Nintendo Doom. But... I'm, you know, I'm really trying to play this now. Like, I'm- I'm actually putting the effort in. It's- it's really hard to hit people! It's really hard to play this! Oh, oh, this is like playing Mario 64 DS with a broken thumb. This is like trying to whisk eggs with your penis. I'm good. Okay, before I show you White Man Can't Jump on the Atari Jaguar, I'm going to show you Alien vs. Predator. This is the game that, for many people, was the game.
Okay, here we go. I, I think. Okay, it's happening. Back in my day, the game was the game. I have the up-to-date version. Thank you, though. Of, of Yo Noid, I have that. Select character. Okay. So, let's see what this is all about. Colonial Marine, Alien, or Predator. Start with the Colonial Marine, because... Um, wait, this isn't Bill Paxton. I'm gonna start with the Colonial Marine because... That just seems appropriate. What did it say? It said, Alan? Alion? Wait, we're sure this is a good game, right? Wow, that's sway. I'm pressing buttons to switch weapons, but nothing's happening. Hang on. I don't think I have other weapons yet. I think I just have the shotgun. So I should point out what was once good in, say, the early 90s doesn't necessarily mean it's good now. But it's the best controlling of the first-person shooters that I've played on this system yet. Kind of. Marine is best campaign, too, really. It's very slow. Which I guess is kind of part of the horror aspect. I hate the word horror. Man, I hate saying it. Horror. Oh, yeah. I forgot about alien acid. If only I had Rich Evans to counteract the acid. And just, like, feed him... A volcano of Tums. Man, strafing fucking sucks with the uh, with the Jaguar. And and again, trying to control a thing in 3D space using a D-pad is really really challenging. Because like I'm trying to turn and it's not recognizing the command because I'm already pressing up on the D-pad, and it's it's kind of a stiff D-pad on this controller. And then sometimes I'll be moving forward. What is this thing? I guess, I guess nothing. Um, sometimes I'll be moving forward, and just nothing will happen. That's fun. Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> Just getting stuck on walls again. I, I don't know what these are. I can't shoot them, I can't press them. None of the numbers on the pad work. Oh wait, no they do. Oh wait, this is weird. Guys, the numbers strafe. You would not believe how I have to play this. Okay, I want you to do a visual. How would you play this? Not that. This is... Sorry, that, not that. Not this. Incorrect visuals. This is what I opened the stream with. Just so you're not confused, this is what I opened the stream with. No baby. And, um... Just, you know, just, just legs walking. I wouldn't worry about it too much. Um... 
Okay, so seven and nine strafe. So you can press the, the C button to strafe. The C button will strafe. But the other buttons that strafe are seven and nine. So think about how you would think about how you would play this if used were behind the controller. The big meaty controller. People made fun of the Xbox controller. It's got nothing on this. This is a legendarily bad controller. Okay. Having fun walking around and just like going in circles, hitting dead ends. It's really fun so far. It's like really, really fun. Like really vocal fry fun. Not like really. Ooh. Yeah, if this is the best the Atari Jaguar had to offer, or damn near close to it, then I feel bad for anyone that got this instead of a PlayStation or instead of a, a Super Nintendo or a Genesis. Oh, there's two of them. I'm gonna guess this is Walk Backwards the game. I see dead people. I have pulse rounds, but no pulse gun. Okay. I'm not giving up just yet. I just, just go a little bit further before I switch to an alien or a predator. Yeah. Yeah, clusterfuck. This <laughs> what the fuck? It wasn't even like a death animation. I got fucking I got bamboozled and outstrafed as Darren says in chat. I was strafed harder than I could strafe. Alowen. Should I be Alowen? Queen is gone. Find Queen. Rescue Cocoon's vital to survival. Cocoon enemy with claw tail claw. Aliens think like Smeagol. <laughs> There's the alien mouth. Man, I understand this was the early days of first-person shooters, but fuck, these graphics are hard to look at. But do I have infinite hand? G, G whiz. I think when people were talking about this game being good, what they meant to say was, it was good for its time, and it was good for the Jaguar. Those are very different things than, say, if I were to play Doom on the PC right now. 
which is still good. Trying real hard. I'm trying real hard to enjoy it. <laughs> it looks like I don't have to try anymore. I'm gonna try Predator. Apparently Tempest 2000 is a good game on the Jaguar. I don't have that one. Here's what I think this game got right so far. I like the, um, even though I don't like the graphics necessarily, I do like the atmosphere for a game this early in um, 3D. Like, this is just a year after Doom, so I can appreciate what it attempted to do. Alloen versus Predator. It's a Wayland Yutani door, isn't it? Okay, so I can strafe with Predator. And I have, um... Just a melee weapon. At the moment. Oh, oh, this is an airlock. Of course. Oh, that was... That was Butthole Land. We don't want to go back to Butthole Land. Here we go again. The more I think about Alien Covenant, the more I want to punch the movie in the face, by the way. And I liked Alien Covenant. There were really good moments in it. I still think it's the best movie in the series since Alien 2, but it's so fucking stupid. So stupid. Does so many things wrong. It, it does as many things wrong as it does right, I felt. But I, I'll say this. Michael Fassbender acting with Michael Fassbender. And um, then Michael Fassbender telling Michael Fassbender that he's going to do the fingering. I don't think I've laughed out loud that hard in a theater since I've seen a comedy movie in the theater, which was 40-Year-Old Virgin. That's the only comedy movie I've seen in a theater in the past, like, 15 years. Oh, that's an actual line. I'm not just trying to be funny. Michael Fassbender tells Michael Fassbender he's gonna do the fingering. Oh, this is nice to look at, isn't it? Welcome to the insides of an ear canal. Classic quality weapon. What's going on here with this weapon? A lot of earwax in butthole land. Great! versus Predator is great on the fucking uh, Atari Jaguar. Oh, you love it, mate! <laughs> it's like, how, how much do you love looking at the night after someone drank very heavily in the toilet? Because if so, you're going to love the way the graphics look in this game. You're also going to like the way it plays, too. Because... 
seventy percent of your hits don't actually register when you're predator. Alien ver versus Predator. Oh my god. Oh my fucking god. Look at this. These hallways. Oh, the system was such a bad idea. I blame Blade Runner for this. Blade Runner gave it the curse. The, the Blade Runner curse. That's me right now. You were looking at me. Alright. I think I'm ready to turn this off. And finally, the incomparable white men can't jump on the Atari Jaguar. The Jaguar has 64 bits because it has four 16-bit cores. Well, if you read the Jaguar Wikipedia page, which I, which I may have done in preparation for this stream, or at least some of it. It says here that the Jaguar utilized a multi-chip architecture that was difficult for most developers to use. So, yeah. That is a true statement. That <laughs> it's it's not as um man the intro to the Jaguar it's not as amazing as say the GameCube or the PlayStation not as memorable but still pretty good here it is I don't have the Atari Jaguar CD. That did not come with this. It's just in a box. It's in a beat-up card. It's like the deed is done. You know what I mean? Like the dude just gave it to me in a beat-up giant fucking cardboard box. Actually, what is this? It says here it's it's in a tracheostomy care kit. That's what it says on the side of the box. So this is a box that ca uh, carries 20 kits per case of tracheostomy care kits. It says one three-compartment tray, one pair of gloves, a trachea tube brush, waterproof drape, non-woven sponges times four, two pipe cleaners, two cotton tip applicators, one pre-cut drain sponge, and one twill tape. So that whatever, whatever this box had in it is more interesting than the Jaguar. Wait, what happened to the game? That's the best graphics I've seen on the Jaguar. That intro right there, that- that one... ...intro scene. Here we go. White men can't jump. Wasn't Wesley Snipes in this movie? What are these faces? They, come, come on, those don't look like faces! S jewels from Pulp Fiction? Saber, Rush, Mace, Stress, Dr. Ed, Slag, OG, G-Love, Titan, Wisp. Okay, Hack and Sully. Why does Sully have a pickle? And Pickle Rick, yeah! Uh, listen. These poor characters. They just wanted to be pretty. They just wanted to be handsome. Burger. 
I I'm gonna have to be Burger and Stomp, you understand that. Twitch- Oh, <laughs> look, we found Twitch's new mascot! Rabies and Twitch! Alright, Twitch, you've got a new mascot. Feel free. It's available. Hail and Goose. Grip and Fence. <laughs> Skin and Smack. <laughs> I can't help but think that these names are related. Like skin, you smack skin. You go, you take a van to Rio. Jules gets freaky. With a saber, you you can rush. That sounds like a move in like a Castlevania game. Like um, Alucard would do saber rush. Mace. If you get hit with mace in the face, that leads to stress. Doctor Ed is a slag, or he likes to slag people off. G Love is OG in bed. I got nothing for this. Hack and Sully. Tower and Eggman. Wait a minute. I- I missed a character called Eggman? Dismasters. Oh right, there's teams. I didn't even see the teams. Muscle Boys. I gotta- I gotta click the Muscle Boys. Psycho Squad. Screaming Wheels. Street Sharks. Oh my god. Urban Angels, Beach Bums, Cool Cats. There he is! Duncan Demons, get the fuck out of here. Dirty Rats. Alright, we're, we're going for Burger and Stomp, because this is a team... ...made in... ...made in heaven. We're gonna fight Pickle Rick. I didn't even know what level I was selecting. Yep, I can see what's happening. Yep. Yep, I can see what's happening. Definitely. Here it comes. Yo, take it. Banged, huh? Oh. Yo. Yep. Open. Yep, just punched just punched her right in the face. I was trying to figure out where I was for a second, and then I realized I'm probably the player jumping into the wall. For no reason. That's probably me, yep. Hacked. This- this game is- this game is diarrhea. This game is puke. This game is mung. This- this game is... worse. This game is worse than almost any of the other Jaguar games I've played. And that's saying a lot. Pickled. It says pickle. <laughs> what the fuck are these messages? Like every one second, there's a message. So my character is Burger, of course. You can see Burger. He's trying to like. He realizes that he's in a video game. He wants to be real. Look, Burger, he, he's looking at you, Twitch chat. I got this. Oh shit, Burger made a shot. Oh no, that was Airball. Yeah. He's trying to escape. Somehow I've randomly become the other character. For a moment I was controlling Burger. I am no longer controlling Burger. I'm controlling steak now. The character's like, please get me out of this game. Please get me out of this game. Whatever you do. Save me. He's like, hey, yo. I'm <laughs> trying to beat the shit out of people on the sideline. Only with the power of the Atari Jaguar is this game possible. I fucking hate everything. Burger is trying to escape. Burger wants out.
pressing the number buttons now. It turns off the music. Here it comes. I think I'm done here. Oh man. Oh man. Yo, take Okay, look at my character in the background. Just just trying to take shots. Just just practicing his <laughs> practicing his game. Hard work being this good. Air ball. Get off me, chump. Yo, take it. <laughs> okay, I can't- I can't do this anymore. Yo, take it. <sighs> That's the Atari Jaguar. That's every game I have for it. If I ever got more games for the system, I'd consider revisiting it. But... In the unlikely event I ever stumble across another Atari Jaguar game... I would like to forget this ever happened. What a fucking terrible system. Man. Man, oh man. So, what I saw today were undercooked games, misguided attempts at ports, um, really, like, just really bad controls. I mean, the controller itself is terrible, but you could easily do, like, a Mario game on it because it's because it's a d-pad and three buttons so you could do stuff like you would have on sega or nintendo it's just the only game i played like that was zool 2 unfortunately uh really um really seemed like the developers didn't know what to do with this system like it was just 3d randomly in some games and then other games it was like okay this 3d is clearly not working so when people say that the system was hard to develop for. I can see that, definitely. It's no wonder Atari didn't sell very many of these things. That's the Atari Jaguar. Now, Atari, like I said earlier, is coming out with another system. The Atari Box or some shit like that. And it's got like a wood finish. And they said it'll play classic games and it's gonna have the architecture of a newer system so it'll play modern games too. So, let's see what that's all about. <laughs> let's let's hope it's not Jaguar 2. <sighs> but that is the Atari Jaguar. Up next, Yo Noid 2, another sequel. And uh, then, getting weird with it. So we're going to get weird tonight. I'm going to take a quick break. Stick around, I will be right back with Yo Noid 2. It should bring back more nostalgia from a time when things were simpler, like when Domino's had a mascot that had an untimely end because of some rather grim events. Anyway, don't worry about that. Be right back. <laughs> 